वेलकम टू मरीन टेक हब टुडे आई विल बी एक्सप्लेनिंग यू अबाउट ड्राइडॉग जॉब विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू प्रोपेलर ओके सो नाउ द शिप इज इन ड्राइडॉग एंड वी हैव रिमूव्ड द प्लेट प्लेट्स यू कैन सी प्लेट्स हैव बीन रिमूव्ड एंड वी हैव बैरिकेड्स पुट ऑल अराउंड सो दैट द प्लेस इज सेफ बिफोर द जॉब इज स्टार्टेड we in the dry dock we carry out the toolbox meeting and the risk assessment uh, in, so that all the people shore people and the uh, people working on the officers working on the ship are well aware that the job will be done so in this picture you can see these two are the lube oil pumps and uh, this is the propeller shaft which is connected to the main engine so this is the flywheel here so this is the cover we have removed all the platform here so that it is accessible for removing these bolts there are these are bolts titan hydraulic bolts okay this need to be removed so we have connected the hose here which is connected to the hydraulic system the pressure for this is around 1000 bar okay so we need to put 1000 bar then we can loosen the hydraulic nut so all the bolts will not be removed together we will keeping uh, two or four bolts in place uh, so this bolts will be removed at the last okay so what we are trying to tell you is so to why we are removing this we have to remove this to lower the propeller shaft down then only we can pull out the other shaft which is attached to the propeller outside okay you can see here this is the propeller shaft uh, the other end which is coming and which is attached to the propeller on the other side so here also we got hydraulic bolts here all these bolts will be removed except uh, two or four of them as as required this is the hydraulic jacks which will be used for pulling out and this is the hydraulic coupling bolts new one so if you are going to replace so we have the enough spare uh, if anything goes wrong in dry dock we should have enough spare so this is the hydraulic coupling bolts this is a diagram here so in this diagram they are telling how much pressure should open 1000 bar other details are given over here so i will not explain much on this you can read through it so so that you will understand what i am saying here you can see this is the hydraulic jack we have put and giving a pressure of 1000 bar here and then we are using the uh, you can see this an allen we can use or some uh, allen bolts which will go exactly in this or we have a separate tool uh, which will fit here so we can loosen it so this is one side of it the hydraulic bolts there is one more other side so we are removing one by one so this is a jack a special jack for this so if you see here so many bolts have been removed you can see bolts removed here 1 2 3 all removed so from this side this side is going straight out okay so we are using again the hydraulic pump here which will be used to build up pressure to remove these bolts okay once this is removed then what we will do we will lower it down and pull this shaft out before pull this we have to remove the nut on the propeller okay so this is the poker gauge this is the bear down gauge okay this gauge i will show you where we are going to insert here you can see the ship in the dry dock okay so you can see the propeller here so the ship right now is in dubai dry dock so what you have to do is you have to remove the propeller and uh, before you remove the propeller you have to check the wear down how much wear down has happened so you are using the poker gauge for this i will show you the poker gauge where to use it so they will be making uh, putting the chain blocks and that 
to pull the propeller out. Huh? So I will show that. You can see here, right now, uh, all these scaffoldings are prepared in such a way that the propeller can be rotated. Huh? So there will be space all around. You can see here, the hub has been removed, which is covered here. Then we will remove the nut. This is the propeller. So this is the hub, you can see here. Uh, we got a casket for that. So these bolts have been removed. There is a lot of grease here. Okay. So this is the first part we will remove from outside. And here you can see this is the nut, hydraulic nut. Okay. This is the hydraulic nut. Uh, in the dry dock we put the connection in the hydraulic nut here. I will show you where the connections are put. So once that is pushed, then we turn this out. You can see the rod put here for turning. Normally we turn it so that this comes out. So when you are turning it, you have to put the hydraulic pressure here. That I will show you in the, when the net is removed, I will show you. We have already removed it here. So you can see here, we need to put the, uh, uh, this is the wooden piece in between. So when you put wooden piece here, so that it will not hit the nut. So you can see the hydraulic connection given here on the propeller hub here. You can see this and you have the hydraulic pumping system here. Give a pressure uh, that I will show you how much pressure we are giving and how we are going to take out. The markings are there. You can see these markings have done before so that this will match when you tighten it. So you can see this is the nut which you have which you have removed and this is the hydraulic connections which is attached to this while removing okay so this is very important uh, for removing the nut you can see the nut has been removed and we have put a cover here this is so that it will not damage its thread yes now this is the important thing for all engineers on board the ship so this is the poker gauge we have inserted a poker gauge to find how much is the distance or how much is the wad on taken place. Okay, so this poker gauge, uh, one you put it on the top and one at the bottom. Remove this and put it at the bottom. So the measurement will be compared, which will say how much wad on has taken place in the bearing. Okay, so there is a cover here. Uh, this is the rope guard which has been removed. And you can see this is the shape after two and a half years. You can see all mud and that. So this measurement is taken. You can see the measurement taken before. This is 2017. The top reading is 66.7 and the bottom is 67. Now 2020 we are taking a reading again. You can see 66.5. These readings are required to compare and see that if the wearing is too much that, that means we have to take action on that. Okay, so you can see here, this is the propeller shaft where this is the intermediate bearing which we have removed. Uh, so what is happening is, we have to remove this shaft to remove, pull the propeller.